Yeah, pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports Sound News. I'm Joe Borg, and this is going to be a quick preview. Like I said, I'll be back to do the preview after the recap early of the Royal Take to preview tonight's game, where I would have to imagine Jeremy Brodeur would be starting for the Maine Mariners. Don't know that for sure, but with how well he's played against the Royals compared to the Royals in the regular season, knocked Lakeus out. So now with the grand total of three times knocking him out of a game after being one of the better goaltenders in the league, after finding a footing with the Maine Mariners, after being on, as Eric said, on the broadcast yesterday, five different clubs. So he found his footing with the Mariners, but has not found his footing at all against the Royals. You would have to envision Jeremy Brodeur would be in cage because of that reason. But tonight it's about the Royals continuing to play kind of like the upper ante offense they played and the good chance offense they played in the second period because they outshot them and outchanced them as far as I'm concerned in the second period. But the first and third, not too good in this game as the net front defense wasn't great. Two bad line changes in yesterday's game. So they have to tighten that stuff up, play much better net front defense. But as I said in the video recap in that game, that is very uncharacteristic of the Royals to play bad net front defense and a line change for you. They're one of the better teams at doing both of those things. So I don't think that's going to happen back-to-back -back days. And that's why I think the Royals have a good chance of bouncing back tonight. But predicting it is a jinx, so I'm not going to do that. But they have a good chance of bouncing back tonight and going up 3-1 to one because they just got to play within themselves again. The second game was perfection. They kind of let early the scrappiness and stuff get under their skins, and Brennan Saulnier did something to try to draw them into a penalty and ended up him getting the only penalty, so that didn't work out. So, Eric McDonald, I'm sure, said, let's not let that get under our skins again. And after the first game, they won, even playing that style and letting it happen because they were up 3-0, and then the Mariners scored too late. The Royals were still able to win that, had a great second game defensively and offensively that if they can play similar to that second game, but also more with the aggressive offense of the second period of last game, then I think the Royals are poised to be able to go up 3-1 to one in this series. It's just about playing their style of hockey that Kirk McDonald talks about. They don't play with as much snarl, but they can if they want to. But as Kirk McDonald says, doing all that after the whistle stuff, I understand why it's cool to watch and everything, but it doesn't accomplish much of anything, if anything, where fighting somebody does. When you do something like Cockrell does, yeah, that is what you want to do. But if you're not doing that all the time and you're just grabbing people after the whistle, that doesn't really accomplish much. So you want to either fight or you don't fight, and you want to play more calm, cool, collected, and have a guy. Like, Saunier also has to play a little bit more collected in this series because he's one of the best players in the ECHL when he's down there offensively as well, so you want to have him on the ice. So I think all that stuff playing into tonight's game that I think is going to come to fruition in the positive. That's why I think the Royals have a good chance to bounce back. I also think Logan Flodell is going to be really good tonight because I don't even think he was unsharp yesterday, assuming they're going to go with Flo. I would have to think he's going to go in the back-to-back -back after the loss yesterday. We'll have to see because he was fine yesterday. It was net front. He was blocked out in the first goal, and then the other one was bad net front um, protection on rebounds and et cetera, and then two bad line changes. So you can't do much about that as a goaltender. So I think Flodell's going to be good tonight. I think the defense is going to be sharp because that's how they've been all season. They haven't ever had a game that the net front defense is that off one game, and then it's that the second game. The Royals have always bounced back like that all season. So that combined with Flodell, combined with the fact that I think they're going to play that push the ante pace offense that they were able to play in the second period. And if they're able to do that, plus play the cleaner game like they did in game two of this series, I think that's going to put the Royals up 3-1. to one. But this has been a quick preview to the Reading Royals Game 4 against the Maine Mariners. It's going to take place 7.05 p.m. in Portland, Maine this evening. The great Eric Jessberger is going to be on the call from his great home. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe. Please subscribe down below or up above on the easy to use widget to keep the channel growing to 2.30 or more by the end of April. Go Royals. Let's go up 3-1, to one, baby. Peace out, everybody.